So I want to now look at this thing from the top. Okay, so we're going to look down on the wheel from the top. It's still rotating in the same way, but now we're looking into the, into the screen is a bird's eye view, down from above. And here was that large initial value for the angular momentum vector L. And the torque we agreed was into the screen before, so that's now, do you agree, did I get it right, that up? If we're look, yeah, if we're looking down from above, into the board would now be as indicated, right? So this, according to that expression, that the, the rate of change, or the little change in the angular momentum must be the product of the torque and a little bit of time, that expression says that dl has to be parallel to the torque. So L has to get a component DL like that. So if I add up L plus DL, then I get the purple because blue and red make purple. <laughs> Took us. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, so it looks like, well, it looks like L is changing its direction by a little angle d theta. Go figure out what d theta needs to be in terms of L and tau. And I guess I'll spot you that because I already spotted you that. Beautifully color-coded for your confusion. So what we're actually going to look for is the rate at which the angle theta that describes the direction L points in is changing with time. So see if you can cook up an expression for d theta dt. I'll give you a couple minutes. <laughs> 